Okay, on a previous Vesta crystallography tutorial video where we learned how to draw crystal structures using the software Vesta, one of the users requested to know how to draw slab models. Those can be models where a certain uh, facet or plane shows up on a crystal structure. Maybe you want an individual slab or maybe you want a faceted crystal. For example, take a look at this one here. This is a crystal structure that that user is looking for. This is the anatase titanium uh, dioxide crystal. Um, it's a certain type of crystal structure and he wanted to look at the uh, 101 faces. So how do you go from that to this, right? Uh, let's get started with looking for the crystal structure of anatase, right? So we're going to go to our old friend, the crystallography um, open database. You're going to hit search, which will bring you to this database. And uh, you could punch in the elements, T-I-O, between two and maximum two elements, or with a name like anatase. Let's just punch it in and see what comes up. So we're going to hit send. And sure enough, uh, you see a bunch of uh, crystal structures here, TiO2, uh, the crystal structure of anatase versus rutile. Here's another one, anatase versus rutile. So let's pick this one from 2000. That's probably going to be fine. We'll, uh, we'll grab that crystal structure. This one will probably work just as well, too. You know, either one's probably fine. We'll go to where they're downloaded in our download folder. Okay, it's going to fire up Investa. And here's our crystal structure for anatase. So the first thing you notice, the difference between this and the one that we just saw there, um, one is that it's much, much larger. So we know one of the first things we're going to have to do is make this uh, extend our boundaries out. Let's move this a little bit. Okay, we're going to move our boundaries and we're going to define them because I just ran through this. Um, going from negative two to negative four, negative two to, neg to positive four, excuse me, on these on our a, b, and c axes, and then negative two to positive five um, is sufficient to get a pretty good image on this one. So my computer is a potato. It's going to run a little bit slow when we, when we do this, but you can see now we've got a great big uh, structure we're looking at. Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw um, our planes. Since you wanted to look along the 101 planes, let's go ahead and do those. So again, we're going to go to edit, we're going to go to lattice planes, and we're going to enter the 101 family, right? So 101 family. Um, let's do integers of integers of the d spacing, right? And have those go ahead and appear. And you see right away that we've got one there, right? There's a plane showing up there. Uh, it's a little bit tricky until I rotate it, but you'll see it in a moment. So let's hit OK, and, and now you'll be able to see this. When I rotate this, you can now see that plane of atoms showing up in purple there, right? Again, it's moving a little bit slow because it's a lot of atoms it's trying to render, plus I've got the other one open. Let's again look down our b axis. Uh, I'm going to add the rest of these. So the ones I'm going to choose to add in addition to this, in addition to this one, we're going to do 101, but we're going to do 60 spacings. Right? See it showing up over here? Now we're also going to add another one. This is going to be the 10 minus 1 plane, right? In the same family of the 101s, right? This one we're going to do um, the AD spacing of 1. So that should show up there. Okay. Now we're going to click on that again. We're going to do another one, but this time we're going to do it with negative 3 D spacing. So from its origin, it's going to go back negative 3. When this is all said and done, looking at this now, you see this sort of diamond uh, like structure forming here. This is sort of the crystal that's forming that has the faces of interest, right? Now, what we'd like to do is we want to cut out all the atoms that aren't um, intersected by that plane, right? So, how do we do that? Um, remember, to delete things, first you have to select them with this white arrow. Um, and before we do that, it's going to be helpful to rotate this thing. Now, you can rotate it by hand with the black arrow. You could try and rotate this thing, but there's so many atoms, it's going to be tricky. So, if that's hard, go ahead and hit B again so it centers on the B axis. And instead, you can just tell it to move uh, five degrees at a time. We can rotate about the, the Z axis. Right? So we can keep on rotating that. We could change it to be more or less than five. It looks like we, like we overdid it. So let's go back and do this last one, say, by like, I don't know, three. And it's pretty well flat. Now when we go to this clicker, um, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to drag across all of these, and let's leave the, the red oxygens that are attached to the blues along the face. Now you could choose whatever you want to keep. I'm going to keep those. Okay, now that's turned yellow. We're going to delete those. Now again on this one, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to now this time come down here, and we're going to grab the atoms we want to get rid of. 
Now, just a tip here, if you're working with lots and lots of atoms in Vesta, the more things you can close, the better. Um, this does take up a lot of your memory. Okay, now that we've got those deleted, let's go ahead and rotate a little bit more so we can delete the other two sides. Um, you know, whatever's convenient for you. Get it so you can grab it how you want. When it's there, go ahead and hit delete. One last one over here. Okay, now at this point, let's go ahead and look along the b-axis again. Let's zoom in so we can see this thing just a little bit better. Let's turn off our planes. So in our planes, we're just going to delete these four back out again. And back to our rotation tool, we can now look along the 101 faces of this crystal that we formed in the slab model. Okay, and that's how you create slab models in Vesta.